hey welcome back everyone to another video and google just announced their name for android 9 which is now going to be or android p preview which is now going to be called android pi um yeah pretty exciting stuff so i thought why not just celebrate it with a new build for android on raspberry pi so peter yoon who is the lead developer for this project um you know just popped in and said hey here's the uh, P developer preview sort of entry point. It's still pretty much in alpha uh, Few things work few things don't the good news it it boots uh, it takes its own time to boot So you should give it a while, but it boots fine uh, There's one setting app. That's it. That's all there is install uh, You can go ahead check it check out the about section. It will show Android Q uh, because this is because this is based on Android P Preview 5, so uh, the patch num the patch date has also not changed for a while in the master branch, so it still shows December 1st, 2017. But I have explained that in a previous video why it's called Android Q and all of that stuff. So basically, it's just Android P Preview 5, and uh, so for the things that work and don't work, there is a little hack you need to apply to get ADB to work. Uh, which is you log into the console using UART and start ADB by typing in ADBD uh, and that would start the ADB dem demon on the uh, on the Raspberry Pi and then you can use the your LAN connection to connect over uh, your network uh, using ADB. So yes, the network works just fine. Uh, I've used it to install a few apps. Uh, talking about apps, not everything works. Uh, I have added the web view uh, browser app in there, but that doesn't work. Uh, it opens up crashes uh, after a few minutes. Um, I mean, it doesn't even work and it just sticks there. Uh, same with IDA64. Kodi has a weird uh, bug that it, it keeps wait, waiting for external storage for to load for some reason. Uh, although I have uh, around five to six gigabytes of uh, user data partition. Uh, but still doesn't work GFX bench was one of the apps that did work kind of so it, it takes it to it, it takes its own time to load it downloads everything from the internet all the uh, Benchmark files it requires and everything else uh, you can move around the app uh, a lot, but uh, whenever you kind of start a benchmark it then goes again and uh, kind of hangs up so this is the situation right now uh, again uh, as development happens in the p preview branch things will improve from the looks of it uh, gpu is working fine this time uh, it's just some things here and there aren't um, so yes take it with a grain of salt i have linked the image down in the description so you can of course go ahead download it play with it uh, i've also linked to the source code if you want to check it out and create your own builds, that's fine. Uh, and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. This is this was a very quick video for this. Um, I didn't really want to take a whole lot of your time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.